nuke. Because your damn dream is going to turn into a goddamn nightmare. Overnight. Right? You put all your damn value, your worth in America, you're going to shortly find out that was a big mistake. What? It was a big, tragic mistake. I spent years in, in school, right, to be a professional, something. And it, and it brought me to nothing. It brought me to God hating my guts. Because I loved America, and I didn't love my sweet, innocent people. Right? I don't love the black man. I don't love the Hispanic man. I love the white man. For all the things he can do for me. What? What? All the things in the sick fantasies he promised me, I'm going to hold that as a standard of living. Forget God and forget the Bible. Right, you, you Israelites? Right? You non-repentive Israelites? Go ahead, King. Keep, keep going on. God, verse 10. They are turned back to the iniquity of their forefathers. They did what? They're doing what? They are turned back to the iniquity of their forefathers. So who we bid y'all to come listen, young man? You got a second for the word? My man in the green, the green jacket, you got a second for the word of God? Look. Well, give me an hour. Give me an hour, brother. You ain't got a second. Let me get an hour. All right, let me get Deuteronomy chapter 28. Listen, you come a little closer because I... I'm hard to hear. I'm on, I'm on, uh, watch the right now. You on what? Oh, okay, come, come. 28, 28. I, I, I got you, Ken, because we got a little mic. Get, get Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Get Deuteronomy 28. I want to show you some. God, are you a so called African American young man? You would, you would, you would consider that. No, no. I'm not asking you baptized. I'm asking what's your race? Black African American. You're a black African American. Okay, all praises, brother. God, look at this sign. I want to show you this sign right here, right? This says Judah. What's next to Judah? Negro. Negro. Would you consider yourself a Negro? That's what they call us, right? Black. Right. Negro, black, African American. Right? That's what you would call in the 70s. Afro Americans. Right? They call us Afro Americans, right? Read Deuteronomy 1 and 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. So we deal with context. When you read a book or watch a movie, you got to know who the main characters are. Or you can't follow along. Would you say you can understand a movie if you watch it in the middle to the end? So you would be able to... This is for you too, King. I just need a couple seconds of your time, right? Y'all ain't got to be on camera. Y'all good. couple seconds of your time. I, I need y'all to know this. This is very important, permanent information. Pertinent information I need to know before America turns into shit. Because that third world third world country look is coming to America. Where people are gonna be burning up in each other's houses, stealing, because there ain't gonna be no more ships coming in to support this place. It's gonna be pretty much every man for themselves. Yeah, but one ain't gonna work. Right. But y'all gotta know who y'all people are and who God is gonna be judging you based on how you treat them, right? This is Deuteronomy, right? It's called the Pentateuch called the second law or the second telling of the law. The law God gave Moses to give to you. The people that went into slavery in Egypt looked like us. They weren't white people, right? Africans were enslaved Israelites. We escaped from them or God delivered us and we went into the wilderness. This is what God told us we had to do, right? And that stands today because what happens when you make a blood covenant? If I slice my hand, you slice your hand, we shake. What does that mean? We blood brothers, right? So what happens if I don't keep that blood covenant we, we made? What happens? I'm out of here, right? You, we, you out of here, right? So we, your foreparents made a blood covenant with the most high God of everything. Right? So what happens when we break that with him? You out of here. Right? That's why you see much, all these shootings and shit going on in these things. God is letting us kill each other because we're not keeping this covenant. Read This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken, diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. No, one and one. Deuteronomy one and one. Deuteronomy one and one. Because I want to know, I want to build context. Okay. I asked him, when you watch a movie, you got to know the main characters, right? right we the main characters of the Bible, the white man. The black people tell you white people wrote this book. That's a goddamn lie. 
we, melanated people, discovered and has all religions. The white man came along later and stole from black people. Right? He didn't write this. We did. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? All Israel. Go ahead. On the side of Jordan in the wilderness. In the wilderness. Read that. What did he say? You got it. One and one. 28 and 1. God, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you should listen diligently, go ahead. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God has so sent thee on high. From a, go ahead. You go ahead. Sent thee on high from above all nations of the earth. So God was going to put us on the top of the earth above everybody on earth. earth. Right? That's pretty racist, right? God said, you pick the people, they're going to be the top people. Who's the fastest runners? Who's the fastest runners on the earth? Huh? Black people. No, no, it's us, right? In high school, y'all was in high school? White boys can run faster? Right, who, got the best, who got the best basketball skills? Who the best fights? Who the best defenders? Who dressed the fights? Who got the best women? So we the top. And we always gonna be the top, baby. Read, uh, read fifteen. But it's your Deuteronomy but, twenty-eight fifteen. But, but it's this your that covenant. Ready? Go ahead. But it shall come to pass if thou would not listen to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe. You, hold on. If you don't want to listen and you don't want to observe, go ahead. To do all His commandments and statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is the curse a good or bad thing? Huh. Oh, man, man, it's a pretty man. bad thing. Read 32, hmm. and you get me, um, get 32, and you get me 48. Read 32. Come, on, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? Read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters In shall... slavery, we had sons and daughters, right? There you go. From your, your, your reader. Shall be given unto another people. And thy eyes shall look and fail with them, longing for them all the day long. Can we have the might to fight the white man when we were enslaved? Yeah. Can we call like the Black Panthers? They come get our kids back. Read forty-eight. Therefore shalt, therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. God said we're going to serve our enemies. That's what you're doing now. Nike, Prada, uh, Essentials. We don't own none of that. We don't own the fabrics to make this stuff. Even if we did have our own uh, um, company, we had to get the fabric and the material from the white man. Go ahead. Therefore shall I serve thy enemies that the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. So when we're hungry, we got to go to the white man for food. Walmart, uh, uh, Safeway, anywhere, right? Go ahead. And in nakedness. And in and, uh, go back again in that thirst. And in hunger and in thirst. So we all need a water company. Not at all. We only do water plants, electrical plants, anything, right? That make the water, right? Water no, right? Water's supposed to be free, right? Yeah. And the nakedness. And, and when you want to get caught, you want to get fresh, when well, you gotta go to the white man, even though you might see a, 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 a East Indian or a goddamn uh, a Middle Eastern person, ain't no Middle Eastern person, but a goddamn Muslim behind the counter, they 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 gotta pay taxes to to have that store in America. Go ahead. And in want of all things. And if you want to die, you got to get a death certificate. certificate. If you want to get married, you got to get a marriage certificate. Right, you do. You got to pay to die. Ain't that a goddamn shame? Right? And how about that, huh? And to get married, you got to pay the white man for everything. You go to jail, you're paying. Right? You die, you're paying. You want a job, you got to pay. Go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And what's this devil cracker going to do? He shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck. And what? Until he has destroyed you. And now we're destroyed because we don't look at each other like we used to. We used to look at each other like we were God, Christ himself. Because we knew back then Christ was a black man. You understand? And we would see our brothers and sisters like, Hey, you good? You got enough food? You got a place to stay for the night? If you're not, let me know. I'm going to hook you up. That was us all day long. Even when we were in America, slaves were doing that for each other. Everybody wasn't a coon trying to get his brother whipped. You know, we would help each other get away. We would help sisters that were getting raped and abused. 
we loved each other. We had an affection for each other. We don't have that now, right? The white man convinced the black woman, you niggas ain't shit. You need to go get a white man, right? Because niggas ain't shit, but we're the most valuable thing on the earth. Why do you think all other races of women want to get with us? Except for our own race. Our own women hate us, but the white woman desire us, East Indian women desire us, Chinese women desire us, because they know we're the stronger male on the earth, right? Frail ass white boys can't do shit, they'll get aired out quick. As you see in any sporting event. Right? They know they're a winner weak. They know that. That's why they want the stronger man. Right? You had a white woman tell her white daughter, if you feel like somebody's gonna kidnap you or you lost, find a black man. She literally told him that. Because black men aren't pedophiles. We're not pedophiles in nature. They're not gonna take you and try to rape you. They'll they'll idiots like we are, we'll try to help the white woman. Oh, little white girl, let me help you find your mother. That's what we, you would do that, right? You would do that, right? With a brother, your brother who steps on your shoe, you would shoot him with a fucking face. Not you, not y'all, but y'all, our people will hate, hate another black man. If a black man's lost in the city, and we're like, y'all, I need help. Uh, you might help him, you might not. But he ain't gonna ask us. You know, if I go up to these brothers, they're gonna try to rob me, especially if they know I'm not from their city. But a little white girl can go up to a bunch of brothers and she'll get help. Hey, she might get robbed. Put it on a day. Put it on a day of the week. She might get. She might catch that. Oh, well, we got a little white girl here, man. Get to that ATM dinner. Maybe I'll tell you which way to go. So you right. You right in that sense, King. But more than likely, we're gonna help versus hurt her. Right? Keep going. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. And when they came to the West Coast of Africa, that was far. When they came to the Native Americans, that was far. A nation from far. Go ahead. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from one end of the earth to the other end, as swift as the eagle flies. What country represents the eagle? America. That's what? Rome, Italy, Spain. Russia has an eagle. Y'all think Russia got that bear? They got a symbol of an eagle too. They do. All white races represent the eagle because it's the bird of prey. It's a sneaky bird. Meaning as the eagle comes swoop when you're not looking, when you're least expecting. And he's so powerful, when he comes, and you, you ever see somebody who get knocked out, they, they say it's the punch you never see? The person strong enough, you don't see that punch coming, you, he's gonna knock you out. The white man, he's built his kingdom up so powerful, he's a liar and a sneak, but when he comes, he gonna knock you out. Get 64 and read 68. Come, for 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. What happened to us in slavery? Then we get scattered amongst all people, brothers? Check the sign out. The ships went everywhere. We went everywhere, bro. You got black people in Japan. You got black people in China with Afros. They look damn Chinese with dark skin. You be like, damn. We went everywhere, brother. Go ahead. From one end of the earth, even unto the other. Go ahead. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Check this out, fellas. There, when we get to these lands that God was going to send us to for not listening, we will serve who? And there thou shalt serve other gods. Go ahead. Which neither nor thy fathers have known. So we didn't know these guys when we were in the Bible days. Go ahead. Even wood and stone. Who represents the wood? The cross. Right? And the stone is the Kaaba and Mecca. So what is, what's the two religions our people are caught up in? The two biggest religions our people are caught up in? Christians and Muslims. Read that again. Even wood and stone. Check this out. Get Exodus 20 and verse 1. Read that. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, why is there an obelisk in D.C.? An obelisk, that Washington Monument? That's from Egypt. That has nothing to do with the white man. Right, it, no, but you can look up. When y'all get a chance, right, when y'all get a chance, look up Obelisk. Why is there a pyramid on the back of the dollar bill? Why is there a pyramid there? Yeah, why is that? Why do they have a pyramid on the back of your dollar, brother? Or the back of their dollar? Whose face is on that dollar, brother? Is that our face? Right, it's never been, right? But why is that there? We're gonna find out, go ahead. 
and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. Now, when we left Egypt, we didn't have to get on a ship. We could walk in and out of Egypt from Jerusalem or from the wilderness. So the white man has a pyramid on your money. He's got an obelisk in D.C. And it's nothing but Egyptian and Greek-style buildings in America. Right? From their stadiums right to their buildings. And even how they structure this place as far as slavery goes. So let's find out what Egypt means. Read that. God, in the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 1. And God spoke to all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So what does it mean to be bond when you're in a bond situation? Yeah, you're bond. You're bond. You're locked up. Right? You're a slave. Right? Read the rest of it. So Egypt means slavery. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way where I spake unto thee. Thou shalt not see it no more again. And we gotta go back to our homeland. Did the white man say, You niggas get out of here, man. We're sorry for slavery. Y'all can go back. Here's some money. Uh, thanks for building this place up. We're gonna hope that that ever happened. Right? Do they, if we all try to leave, you think they would let us? Hell no. Go ahead. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. Our friends did this. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. That's an enemy right here. That's a goddamn wicked them open. They enemies. That doesn't mean we can touch them. Hold on. That doesn't mean we can touch them or hurt them because God got something planned for them. And if you touch them or hurt them, you're going to take their stuff. You understand? But that's the enemy. That's the enemy. All these are enemies, right? Y'all know about him. He looked a little, he might be a brother. I don't know, man. Okay? And then you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. Bondmen and bondwomen, which means slaves. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. Anybody ever get us out of this situation? To, to be, uh, when it says no man shall buy you, it means no man shall redeem you. The synonym for the word buy is redeem you. You understand? So nobody, Malcolm X, did he get us out of it? Martin Luther King, the Black Panthers, Marcus Garvey. Right, they are the dead, the poor, or the, you know, the government killed them. What about uh, somebody that's alive? Uh, Nation of Islam, Louis Farrakhan. Right, Bar Bar uh, Barama, he ain't us, he's white. Did they ever get us out of the white man putting his foot up our ass? And, 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 and killing us unjustly? Did, they, did anybody ever stop them? They can kill us right now. Is anybody gonna stop them? No. No. You understand? You're the children of this book. Right? These curses that was here, that's 354. Somebody give me 354. This is the big curse right here. Y'all brothers gonna understand this quick. Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Let's, let's hear it. God, this is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. So we used to be tender and sweet to each other and very delicate, right? Like I said, we used to check on each other. Did you need, need something? Go ahead. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Do, do we look at each other like, the fuck you looking at? Do we do that? Does any other race do that? Chinese man look at a Chinese man. Do they look at it? What the fuck you? Do we do that? No, we don't. <laughs> I mean, over here in Chinatown. Do you see them fighting in the streets? Do you see their women cursing their man out? Smacking them on one side of the head with the baby carriage? Do you see any of that? Read that again. So that the man that is tender among you is very delicate. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Okay, and toward the wife of his brother. And toward the remnant of the children. Don't believe in that truth. This is a curse. Keep going. Verse 55. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat. Right? Because eat means destroy. And as we don't, our fathers don't leave us money. When he died, we got to raise money for our parents to be buried, our uncles to be buried. They're supposed to have life insurance policies to leave us money like the white man does his kids. Right? But we don't get that. Go ahead. Because he has nothing left in him. Because he has nothing left because the white man took it all. He wouldn't give him a job. 
He wouldn't give him adequate um, education. He didn't get any capital to start a business. So you niggas, shut up. Be slaves, be good slaves, and be happy we don't lock your ass up forever. Right? That's that's our lot in America. Right? We, we do, we get along just enough so we don't piss the white man off so he locks us up forever. Right? Or kills us. 356. Come on, verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you. The women, the women. They used to be tender and delicate to the man. Go ahead. Which would not adventure to set soul of her foot upon the ground. So our women were so delicate, we didn't even let them walk on the ground. They rode on donkeys and horses and camels. Go ahead. For delicateness and tenderness. Delicateness and tenderness. Go ahead. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom. So our women's eyes are going to be what? Evil toward the husband of her bosom. Do our women get along with us? Not at all. Right? Really? They call us brokies and you niggas ain't shit. <laughs> and, we, and, and, and it takes a black man to have a black woman. Isn't that, a, isn't that something serious? You hate the man who created your wicked no, ass. No, that, that, you hate us. You can't be a black woman, you know, if it's not a black woman. You can't. Right. You can't be a black woman. You couldn't be a black man if it wasn't for a black woman. Man but got the seed. We got the seed, brother. We create the race, so not the women. Yeah. So it carries it, nurtures it. But what, what's more important, the actual seed or the, the, the earth? No. I can take that seed from any soil you want. The seed or the water. The seed or the food. The seed or the food. You can. What? Right? But how can that baby right? come out if there's no seed? Exactly. How can it come to maturity if it isn't nurtured? Right, I understand that. Right, I understand that. Afterwards, it's never, it's no nurturing being involved if that seed never makes it to that end. That egg can be nurtured with nothing the whole time. If there's no seed, there's no nurturing no, at all. Yes, it can. Yeah, listen, listen. Our seed could be in any woman. Right? God wants us to get with our women, but if he has a baby with a white woman, that's an Israelite baby. That baby is him. It looks different, but that baby is him. A woman gets with a white man, even though if that baby looks black, that's not a white, that's not a black baby. That's a white man's baby. Because oh. men carry the seed. No. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Brother, I take it. Hold on. Hold on, brother. Hold on. It's literally called the one drop rule, correct? The one, was it 118 rule? No, no, that's white people stuff. They made that up, brother. But, Look, the whole concept you of are whoever your father is, brother. No, you're not. Yes, you are. You are whatever man came in that room. I got five kids, bro. Trust me, bro. From the same woman or different women? From the same. Two different women. Right? Them is my kids. If I don't... So those aren't her kids as well? Those are her kids. She birthed them. But if I don't insert that egg into her, she don't have my Thank kids. you. Now, now, if, if she got with another man, are those still your kids? No. Right? Whose kids are they? That's that man. Right. But if you got with another woman, is it not... It's not your kids, right? No, no it's, it's, it's still it's kids. kids. I say it's shame. I mean, free out of the Let's settle yeah, this with the word of God. Can we settle this with the word of God? Let's settle this with the word of God. You believe in the Bible? So you believe in the Bible? Because the book, because the Bible, your book says you have to yield to this book, and I can show you. There's, that, there's no uh, authority greater. Than the brother, the Muslim Bible, the Muslim manuscripts says you have to yield to the Bible. I'll show you. Read that. Come on, this is the book of Numbers, chapter one, and verse eighteen. My phone charge. Go to right where at. Yeah. Go to go to uh, Surah. Go ahead, y'all. Okay, come on. Let's find out where the seed comes from. And they assemble all the congregations together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree. What's a pedigree? What's, a, what's your pedigree? Your bloodline, right? They put a pedigree. After their family, by the house of their father. By the house of who? By the house of their father. So you are whatever your father is. That's how we determine our bloodlines and our tribes and our heritage. So if you were from Judah, you stay with Judah. So if you were from Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, 
It's a car. Dan, your ass was whatever that tribe was, brother. You didn't go with whatever your mother was like the white Jews say. It's based on your father's lineage, not your mother. Right? Right, you got 23 chromosomes from your mother, 23 from your father, but your race is determined by your father's family, not your mother's. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. All right, this is Sura. That's the verse? Yeah, this is Sura 1094. But if you, ye are in doubt as to what we have revealed to you. So if you're in doubt over what we're reading from the Bible or what was revealed, go ahead. Ask those who read the book before you. Ooh. Ask those who read what? The book before you. Certainly the truth has come to you from, from your Lord, therefore you should not be of, of the disputants. Of the disputants, right? Go ahead, read your verse. Read your verse, brother. I'm just, I'm just reading the shit that you want to say. Okay. We should take this junk. It didn't say the Bible. It didn't say the books of such and such prophet. It just said the book. Is, what what's the is, book? Is the what book came before the the Quran? It's it on before. It's not before. Mm -hmm. All right, you can uh, y'all y'all look at information on the uh, 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 I want to get a specific numbers, numbers. numbers. Yeah, numbers, numbers six, six and, and twenty two. Yeah. I said Deuteronomy. Listen to this, fellas. Number six. Number six. And let me get Matthew 6 and 9. <laughs> this is the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verse 22. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his son, saying, Aaron was the high priest of Israel, right? We went to him when we wanted to get prayed over, sacrifice stuff to. Go ahead. Saying, On this day, why, why, ye, why ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, on this wise, you shall bless the children of Israel. Y'all know y'all Israelites, right? Right? Y'all see y'all tribe, Judah? Right? So you're a son of Judah. Right? Bun, Yasha Allah, Bun, uh, uh, how do you say that? Son of Israel, right? Bun, Yasha Allah, son of Israel. Go ahead. The Lord blessed thee and kept thee. The Lord, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. Go ahead. The Lord make his face shine upon thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee. Right? And be gracious unto thee. And do what? And be gracious unto thee. Right? And give you grace, right? When you messing up, when you know you wrong, and the most high shine his face and he don't kill you, he'll be vengeful to you, but forgive you. Right? And have mercy to you. Go ahead. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee. The Lord lift up his face it means he smiles and sees you. Go ahead. Give thee peace. And give thee what? And give thee peace. Go ahead. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. And God gonna put his name upon them. He's gonna bless them. So no wickedness, no evil, no cursing come upon them. Go ahead. Come, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 6, and verse 9. After this manner, therefore, praise ye, our Father, which art in heaven, I will be thy name. Thy kingdom come. This is the prayer that destroys America. Go ahead. Thy kingdom come. God's kingdom is coming. America's kingdom is falling. Go ahead. Thy will be done. God's will on the earth. Not trannies, faggots, lesbians. Go ahead. On earth as it is in heaven. God's will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Go ahead. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread, which is this Bible. Go ahead. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts, the stuff we did against you, God. Go ahead. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive the people who did things to us. Go ahead. And lead us not into temptation. And don't lead us into a wicked way. Go ahead. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us from this evil kingdom. Right? America is evil. America will stress you out. America will bring you down. America have you broke, busted, and disgusting if you let it. Go ahead. Come for thy kingdom. And the power and the glory forever are mine. For God's kingdom. Alright? And the power and the glory forever. Amen. Alright, y'all brothers have a lovely day.
with, with BC Camp, HOI, y'all can come ask us any questions at any time, brother. We literally out here for y'all, right? For our people. Don't, don't, I don't care if we arguing with a white man. Say, brother, I got questions. I'm stopping that. Because I fear him. He said, y'all, he's 76. This is how God feels about you. Deuteronomy 76. Let me, let me get how God truly feels about him, y'all. And let me get, um, um, let me get Psalms 135 and 5. God, look at Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. That means you're separate. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. God chose. To be a special people. Because y'all are special. Unto himself. To God. Above all people. No, equal, equal with everybody. Above all people. The black, Native American, Hispanics are equal with everybody. Above all people. Go ahead. That are upon the face of the earth. That's clear. That's cut. That's cool. That's what God said. Go ahead. Come. Verse 7. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. So we were in a great kingdom when we started out. We were lowly people. We were like a family. 70 people. Go ahead. For ye were the fewest of all people. We were the smallest of all people. Go ahead. But because the Lord loved you, but because God loved us, go ahead. And because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your father. Is this your man right here? He dies, he has a son. He says, yo, when you look after my king, he dies. I just need you to protect my son. Are you going to do it? He's like, fuck. That's how God, that's how God feels about you. Right? He had a friend. His friend name was Abraham. He was covenant with him. He's going to keep that covenant. Go ahead. Huh. For you were viewers of all people. Now when his son grows up and he wants to do something wicked, would you whip his ass to make sure he doesn't kill himself? That's what God does. Go ahead. <laughs> but because the Lord loved him. Because God what? But because the Lord loved him. Go ahead. And because he would keep the oath. He would keep the oath. Which he has sworn unto your father. That he made it our fathers his friends. Go ahead. That the Lord loved him. And redeem you out of the house of bondage. So God redeemed us out of the house of bondage. He loved us. It's just that simple. So y'all the children of Israel, God loves you and only you. Like we just read, that's not my opinion. That's God saying you're above everybody on earth. Start asking that. Love your people first. I ain't saying hurt other people. Put your people first. You understand? Oh. Yeah, we're on uh, YouTube. He's gonna give you the information right there. Get on the uh, YouTube page and stuff. Okay. And we might need you on the 4th of July because we'll be up in the back of the White House. Fourth of July. And not all you so-called black state of Americans and Hispanics hear that. God loves you. 